Hey everyone, welcome to the 17th episode of my Launchpad tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about upgrading from Ableton Live Lite to Ableton Live Suite. And I'm also going to talk about the major differences in versions 9 and 10 of the software. Live Suite is the full paid version of Ableton Live. Compared to the limited light edition that ships with your launchpad, Suite has a lot more features to work with. I'm only going to be discussing the most important differences for making launchpad covers, but if you want to check a full list of differences, you can find a link to that in the description. The first major difference is the ability to create more than 8 tracks. If we were to create more than 8 tracks in Ableton Live 9 Lite, we get an error message saying that the number of tracks is limited to 8 in this version of Live. In Ableton Live Suite, we can create as many audio tracks as we like. The limited track count can sometimes make sampling a pain because you will have less room to work with, especially if you happen to have a multiple launchpad setup. The next big difference is the limiter audio effect, which does not exist in the light version of Ableton Live. I loaded up the project file from the last tutorial. In that tutorial, I suggested to lower the volume of the samples track in order to help reduce clipping. With the limiter, we can take this a step further. We can now simply open up our master track and add a limiter onto it. What the limiter does is it lowers the value of any incoming signal if the volume is above the ceiling. This is something that's also called compression. The default ceiling volume is okay. And now we can manually adjust the gain here in case the audio sounds too compressed. In the case of this project, we would put this back to zero and then use the gain here to lower it by six decibels. Here's what would happen if we would not gain this down. The audio sounds compressed and there's not a lot of dynamic range. But it does not clip and it does not give us that ear rape sound. With the gain, we can restore that dynamic range, but the song will sound quieter overall. Another new audio effect is EQ8. The EQ is really important as it can be used for separating instruments from your song. However, I will not talk about it in this video as it is an entirely separate topic on its own. And finally, the most important feature in Suite, Max for Live MIDI effects are devices just like your standard MIDI effects, but they are custom made by the community and they are stored in a file for easy sharing. This is an example Max for Live plugin that ships with Ableton Live Suite. We can map this envelope onto any parameter and then use notes to change that parameter live. The abilities of Max for Live devices are essentially limitless, and the only real limitation is our own imagination and coding ability. For the launchpad, they play a very important role because they allow us to create custom devices that help us create light shows in a much shorter time frame. You may have noticed that if you go past the right side circle buttons of the launchpad, there are no more lights that light up. Similarly, if you go below the bottom, we also get no lights lighting up. This suggests that there is no way to light up the top row properly. This is because Ableton Live normally does not allow us to access the top row. It is being reserved for system functions, such as changing the session and user modes and scrolling through the session view. However, with Max for Live, we can access the top row. One such device is Cascobi's top lights. We can specify our type of launchpad, and then if we try moving past the bottom, we will get lights on our top row. We can display any kind of complex effect on the top row and the device will handle it for us. While all of the relevant features are also included in Ableton Live 9 Suite, I definitely recommend getting 10 Suite instead. The main reasons why you should get 10 instead of 9 is the user interface redesign and performance improvements that were made to the Live processing engine. Live 10 will allow you to create much larger projects without using as many resources. That's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments and I'll answer right away. Thank you for watching. Bye.